We're gonna give you a full body workout for judo and we're gonna start right now. Okay, the first key step, when we're working out, we've gotta get a decent warm up in, okay? So we've gotta look at how can we optimize our warm up and focus on putting ourselves in unstable positions. So the first step that we can do is hit PVC pipe walks. We do four rounds of 30 to 45 seconds. You walk forward, you walk backward, and the more athletic you get, the more coordinated you get, then we're gonna get into a little sports specific warm up using our strength power elastic band, okay? So if we're training for judo, we wanna focus on like a little bit of an underhook into a throw, just a little warm up to get that lower back and our abs firing. So we're here. Ooh, boom, 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 boom. Let's say we go six to seven each side and then finally we're gonna hit a single leg glute bridge. Okay, so we wanna think about hip extension. We're gonna be doing that for this full body workout. So we wanna warm up the feet. The feet is where all of our power is gonna come from. Finally, just nice and easy here, single leg glute bridge. Come up. Okay, so now we're nice and warmed up. We're gonna get into the workout now to make you guys better judokas. First exercise 1A in garage strength training system Make sure that you're inside of peak strength. If you're inside of peak strength and you actually click on judo or combat sports, you're gonna get a workout very similar to this. And we're gonna always start with that technical coordination movement. And in this workout, it's going to be a hang power clean with a pause below the knee. There's a lot of throws in judo. We have to be explosive through the hips. We've gotta have a really strong posterior chain and we have to be able to coordinate at very, very high speeds. So if we can go below the knee, pause, let's say one, two, and then explode out of that position and we're gonna catch as quickly as possible. You can do this for five doubles, six doubles. Maybe you even do four sets of four if you're inside of that exposure phase and that's gonna light up your nervous system and potentiate you for the rest of this sweet full body workout. So when we're talking about a full body workout, we've gotta get creative with our program design. So if we're figuring out, all right, we can only train two to three days a week. And that's typically, that's gonna be a pretty big standard for judo players. So we've gotta think about how can one, we warm up effectively. Two, how can we actually train our nervous system to fire very, very quickly while still being strong? And then three, can we actually pair exercises that are gonna be upper body and lower body focused together? And that's where this next pairing comes into play. We're gonna start with my all time favorite lift for combat athletes and that of course is going to be a single leg squat. And you've gotta pick up the single leg roller at garagestrength.com. We're gonna get into the single leg. We wanna hit five triples, but we wanna hit them fast, nice and quick. Think about 65 to 75% of your best, unbroken. And then we're gonna rest after you hit a triple on each leg of that single leg squat, we're gonna rest for about 40 seconds. And that's gonna take us into this next sweet movement, which is going to be the PA press. I'm gonna have nice hip flexion currently. Come here, boom, come up, boom, boom. And we wanna focus on having that trunk control having hip flexion lead into hip extension, drive and be stable in that overhead position without falling forward. A lot of athletes, especially you combat athletes that don't like to lift weights, will fall forward when you do your first PA press. So make sure that you have nice and good dynamic trunk control and you set that up with that single leg squat. You go back and forth for five sets. When you get on the PA press, I would say hit this for at least five reps. These next two exercises are absolutely Pillars. And one of the things that I like to think about is when we're talking about a combat sport, how much pulling is involved, how much trunk work is involved. So the next movement, this is gonna be 3A, is going to be the rope climb. And I even recommend that if you're a combat athlete, like a judo player, you should be able to do a weighted rope climb. So we should be able to hit like five to six sets, maybe three to four sets are gonna be weighted, two to three sets are gonna be unweighted, focusing on speed. And we're gonna pair that, we're gonna pair that rope climb with one of my all time favorite full body movements. So this is going to be a dumbbell RDL into a row. So we're gonna go here, boom, 
boom, boom, boom, boom. And we're gonna hit that for five to six sets of 12. And one of the reasons why I love this for training my posterior chain is that when I get that little row here for my upper back and my lats, I'm bringing this down and I'm loading my hamstrings very early on in that actual eccentric portion. So if we can do this for a set of 12, rest about 60 seconds, get back to the rope, rest for about 60 seconds. Now in a matter of 10 to 12 minutes, we're targeting our upper body and our abs along with our back and our posterior chain. These are two fantastic exercises. And then these are gonna set us up for that last sweet movement that you can use in this full body training session. So we've got elbow flexion, oh, hanging knee raise. That movement is a killer on your abs and your biceps and your lats, and you're in that constant tension. This is going to help your mat strength. One thing that I really like with an exercise like this is actually timing yourself. You can only do five sets of 20 seconds. What you should be doing then over a long period of time, let's say 12, 16 weeks, you wanna become the best that you can possibly be. You wanna become a freak. You time yourself, you try to build into 60 seconds, 70 seconds, 80 seconds. Now all of a sudden your grip, your biceps, your trunk, has tremendous endurance, and that's a big factor around combat sports specific to judo. We've gotta be able to hit a movement like this that's very dynamic and absolutely intense at the exact same time. So if we go through this full body workout, we get that good warm up, and we start with technical coordination, we get into some big time single leg squats along with that PA press, and then we start doing crazy stuff like the rope climb, the dumbbell RDLs, and then we finish off with the arms flexed, hanging knee raise, on a towel. That's a grip specific exercise. If you guys need help with your programming, head over to peakstrength.app. You're letting yourself down by not becoming a better athlete. Inside of our app, Peak Strength, you're gonna get seven free days of training, five freak based workouts. Because remember, freaks, if you wanna become a champion, you've always gotta cultivate your power. Peace.